Hey everybody, what's happening? Welcome back to the Hybrid Network, and today, we're talking The Mist. No, not the movie. We're going over that critically acclaimed television series on the Spike TV network. Okay, all joking aside, yes, we're going over the television adaptation of The Mist, which up to now has been getting, well, let's just say mixed reactions from fans. It's not really hard to see why, in all honesty, the television series strays a good bit away from the source material. Now, this isn't a bad thing, obviously, lots of adaptations take liberties, but some of the choices in this show made it seem unrecognizable from The Mist in general. Sure, The Mist itself stays constant, but outside of that, well, nothing really stays the same. And while it could be very easy to just equate the problems with the show to its changes or characters, I think it's something a little deeper. It's not just that the changes disrupt the original narrative, it's more like the changes create a different dynamic, as if there's a different overall message and progression that just doesn't seem to fit. The original novella and even the movie had this claustrophobic and dread-inducing atmosphere. Everything took place in one space, and the characters simply had to deal with what would be coming. This ranged from tentacles, monstrous birds, and terrible spiders, all the while the group dynamic began to break down. Everyone began to turn on each other, with tensions leading to many people losing their lives either by the monsters outside, or by the people who've lost their minds inside. The book works because it looks into what we're willing to do in moments of crisis, what fear can do to us, and how it can reveal our true nature. While many people try to stay strong and find solace in each other, others lose themselves and become desperate for some sort of answer. They turn inward and lash out, or they start putting their faith into some false hope. It's a great story because it makes us take a look inside ourselves. The monsters play a huge part in horrid imagery, make no mistake about that, but the point was how fragile and dangerous we become when we're pushed to the brink. The new Mist show, well, it doesn't really seem to focus on any of that. And with different interpretations comes different messages, I get that, but it just seems like the wrong approach to take with a story like this. For example, instead of taking place in one location, a large part of the mist is focused on three separate parties, with one moving about the town and encountering numerous different survivors, one being locked in a mall and dealing with a dynamic reminiscent of the original story, and another that sees Mrs. Raven creating her congregation. With this, we're given a story that expands far outside of the confines of the original, and therefore we get a scope that's much larger. Now, you might be wondering what's so bad about this, because it doesn't seem like it changes much, but it's actually pretty major. You see, with the story stretched out to encompass three separate groups, it has to be larger in scale. It can't simply be the people trying to survive the mist. The series couldn't support itself. Nobody's gonna want the same thing three times, so instead, we get three different aspects of the book, and they're all blown up to be their own plot threads. Now, while this might sound like a good thing, it actually takes away a lot of what makes the mist enjoyable. It's not supposed to be some sort of conspiracy whodunit or the journey to the creation of a cult. It's supposed to be an analysis of humanity and our darker selves. The TV show starts to create its own lore, where in Instead of the struggle being a broad look at humanity focused on a small group of people, it instead becomes a personal story spread out over a wide assortment of people. All of the conflict comes from a previously damaged town, all of the characters already having some sort of inner darkness come out before the mist even shows up, and all of the terror works on a personal level rather than a broad level. In fact, that's one of the reasons that the no monsters thing has gotten under so many people's skin. It's not that people simply wanted to see cool monsters, it's not that we wanted more creative deaths, it's what the monsters represented. The monsters in the original story weren't actually that important. Anything could have been out in the mist, but it had to be an impartial force. That is what works about the story, because it's not a malevolent force attacking the small town, it's just a bunch of animals misplaced from their ecosystem into ours. Horror that is impartial and indifferent to us. The Mist TV show takes this away by making the mist much more personal to individuals within it. The mist causes people to hallucinate about their sins and what they fear, as opposed to just something to fear. Sure, I would have loved to have seen huge freakish spiders and lobsters, I'm just being honest here, but what I would have wanted more than anything was just an air of impartiality. I think this show could have saved itself a lot of trouble if it just didn't show anything in that mist. I know that its origins are a driving point of the show, so they're still kind of a mystery, but if you get rid of the rules of what the mist does and keep it hidden behind a... The Fog, the show could be a lot more compelling and have more of what the original story added to the table. Not only that, but you could probably lose a lot of the plot threads that are set up here and focus the show on simple ideas. 
The rape conspiracy plot I don't think is really needed. The same thing with the Arrowhead Project. You have enough with individuals trying to find their family members and Mrs. Raven forming her congregation. Simplicity is key. The story is just too complicated and too personal to the characters to really tackle what makes the mist so engaging in the first place. It's concerned more so with distinct character troubles and conspiracy theories rooted within the town. And the original story was just following an everyman trying to survive with his son and everyone else he was trapped with. I guess what I mean to say is that the Miss TV show was just too bloated, and what it really needed was to keep things simple. But, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Leave your comments down below, and let's start the discussion. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hybrid Network to stay up to date on all of our latest Stephen King story discussions and updates. This is Luke, and I'll catch you all next time.